Hi everyone, Hades from AgroGamer here with another video review, this time for Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate is an interesting card game slash role-playing game slash action-adventure game slash pretty much any other type of genre you could figure mixed into one game. Uh, the whole story takes place where you as the player sit down at a table where the dealer has a, has a deck of cards filled with all kinds of adventure, weapons, monsters, and as you go through, you unlock a story kind of as you're telling a fortune. Once you get further through the story, you unlock more creatures, more monsters, etc., etc. All in the all in the hopes to get to the end boss and defeat the final level, as all video games should. It feels a little D&D. It feels a little magic. It feels a little tarot with quite a bit of action adventure in the mix. So without further ado. Here's the full review of Hand of Fate. We're going to start off with some of the things I did not like about Hand of Fate. One is this. The, uh, some of the vocals and the dialogue that happened during the game have no sense whatsoever, or they repeat themselves so often it gets so frustrating and annoying. Especially in a game where you're trying to be busy reading text on screen, as well as listen to the dealer actually telling you pertinent facts of the story and adventure. Constantly, he chimes in with little quips, things that are supposed to be filler, but they happen even when you have actions in the game going on, or you're moving about. Some of the most annoying are when he goads you to keep moving and playing more of the levels and so forth, is if you sit idle. Even when you're moving around, sometimes the ticker goes off and plays these things. It is annoying, and it's one of the things I really did not enjoy about this game, because while I'm trying to figure out which path to go down while choosing my cards, you constantly get goaded and hear the same vocals and animations play over and over and over. It gets very repetitious, and thankfully it didn't move into the actual game, but while you're sitting there trying to figure out what you want to do for the game, it gets annoying. Another thing I did not like about the game at all was there's so many cards in there and so few descriptions for what you're supposed to fully do. In the end I found it easier just to go and kill everything D&D style where some, some of the events in the game require you to expand out, do other things, do other little side uh, choices and all that stuff in your choose your own adventure path. But sometimes when you think you're choosing the right one the dealer screws around and goes, no, that's not it, and you don't win. You don't actually win the, the event. Even when some of, the, some of the description pretty much dictates you should have won. I don't know if this was a glitch or if this is something that just wasn't laid out properly or just kind of glanced over when going through the game, but it was, it was annoying to say the least when you're trying to go back and be able to defeat all of the side quests and everything and not have the full description of what you're supposed to do how you're supposed to play it, what your choices are, or really if you're just supposed to go into battle and fight. Come now, hurry up. All of what I said about a hating that I hated with Hand of Fate, throw that aside because in the end I really did love Hand of Fate. In fact, some of the things I absolutely loved was the interesting uh, gameplay mechanics that went between having like a tarot deck read to you mixed with choose your own adventure, kind of a shell game of choosing uh, the outcomes, which was the random event. So instead of rolling dice, you had a bunch of cards shuffled up and you had to choose which one. And that dictated your level of success. Uh, when you actually had to go into combat, it wasn't, you know, roll, doing like random success or anything. You actually went in and your skill could get you through some insanely difficult fights that you probably wouldn't get through if it was all related on just uh, how lucky you were. That was one. Of the, I think mixing all this that together was called the game of eternity that we play. And again, I didn't something think I'm, that meant you take forever to make a decision, mind. One of the things I hated about it. So, going back in, I really loved the, the amalgamation that they did for the gameplay mechanics, and it actually made for a very, 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 very fun game when all is said and done. Another aspect I really loved about Hand of Fate is the armor and weapons uh, system which also included in magic items and all that stuff and while you're going through choosing cards in the game to make sure you're successful uh, you're not failing you can actually get through some of the fights in this you also have to choose those specific cards that you're gathering throughout the level or throughout the, throughout the match 
and make sure your character is well equipped so when you actually go in to fight or when you fight the end boss of the area you're actually tailored, tailored to take them down. Some of these require you doing quick changes on the fly, others not so much, or just hoping that you got the items that you really liked to tailor to your, uh, to your gameplay. Really, really enjoyed the fact this being added in as another kind of random element that if you played correctly and smartly would insanely help you throughout the entire game and not to mention they made your character look insanely cool and gave you all these extra cool little buffs and abilities. So in the end, what is Hand of Fate? Is it a good game? Is it a bad game? Is it something you should play or stay away from? In my personal opinion, and even if you've listened back on this, Hand of Fate had very, very few flaws that I found in it. Yes, annoying repetition. Yes, a couple of annoying things that didn't fully describe it. But in the end, that did not stop me from sinking hours and hours of play into it and still not fully beating the game which is a, something that's slightly ever unheard, uh, unheard of nowadays. I fully enjoyed it. I think most others will enjoy it. Even if you liked Magic the Gathering, if you don't like Magic the Gathering, you like D&D, you don't like D&D, you like Action Adventure, you don't like Action Adventure, this game kind of has a little mix of everything, even though on the outside it doesn't look like the best of games. Surprisingly, it's a cool little sleeper hit that I recommend to everybody out there. You should probably give it a try, it's well worth the price of admission. If not, you, you didn't, you're not losing all too much because Hand of Fate isn't all that expensive of a game. I, do, I personally think everybody out there that's watching this is going to love the game in one aspect or another, so I fully recommend picking up Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate was developed by Defiant Development and came out on February 17th, 2015. It is currently available on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Windows and Mac platforms, I fully recommend you pick it up. Once again, this is Hades doing yet another video review, this time for Hand of Fate.